different. This one, it feels like you guys are just stepping right in stride. Did it feel that way out there today? Yeah, it did. Um, you know, the first period was a, kind of a little bit of a feel-out kind of process, but I think uh, we came out in the second, and, um, you know, it felt comfortable, so it was good. What's it like for you playing in space, both in terms of the, the two-on-one with Evgeny and then even the breakaway for yourself, and both of the results of that obviously was good. How Do you, do you work on that? Yeah, uh, definitely during the summer you work on stuff like that, but, um, you know, it was a great great pass by S, and then um, I think it was uh, Borky that chipped it in the middle there, but, um, yeah, it was just uh, fun to get back out there and, you know, compete and play hard, and, um, you know, the boys played well, so it was fun. People talked about that second season, I think, Pavelski had it. Have you talked to people about how will it be easier? Do you just feel like, you know, you can take a few strides forward? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, you know, I've talked to some people you know, around the league and older people, older guys that have played, and, um, you know, it's uh, definitely easier coming in on your second year, and uh, you're more comfortable with the system and the coaching and the guys and, um, you know, the living situation, all that stuff. Uh, it all plays a factor in your, your mental uh, health. So, um, you know, for this year, it's been um, great coming in. And, you know, I've had a, you know, good start and I feel good. So it's, um, it's fun. You're on the line with two new faces. Uh, can you talk about what you learned about Matt and also what you learned about Logan? Uh, yeah, I played a, a little bit with Stinky last year in uh, preseason. Uh, mm -hmm. He's a great player, works hard, you know, he's good on the puck, he's hard on the puck, and, you know, uh, Maddie's the same thing. So uh, I just try to create space for those guys, and, um, you know, they're uh, they're great players and they're, they're fun to play with, so it's, it's good. How much can you honestly take away from these preseason games in terms of your performance against other teams? Is it more about assessing yourselves and where you feel, or kind of how do you stack up against other teams in these situations? I think as a team you want to play well, but um, you know, do you definitely look at your your personal uh, game because you're you know you're trying to make a team. You know, you, no matter uh, what kind of deal you have, you, you want to make the team and give yourself the best uh, possible chance to you know for the most ice timer, uh, most opportunities throughout the year. So it's yeah, uh, really it's a stepping stone for everyone, and I think uh, if you're young or old, you want to play hard and uh, earn your spot. So. With Matt in particular, you guys are projected to be on the same line. Is it important to get these games, game situations together? Yeah, for sure. You know, we talked uh, talked quite a bit on the bench there, and um, you know where where he's going to be, where I'm going to be, and um, you know, like I said, the first period was kind of feeling out, and uh, I felt you know after the first period we kind of uh, calmed down a little. We were making plays and uh, talking to each other out there, so it was good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. You know, players who will be in the NHL, does it make a difference in, you know, getting your timing down? Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, you know, tonight's game is a lot quicker and faster and a tad more uh, physical than uh, the other night's game. So, um, yeah, it was fun to get out there and obviously uh, some learning moments as well. Your scoring is something that we've known about, but today the, the pass that led to the goal on the other, down there um, went to Sagan and then I think it was Robertson or whatever that was, and then, and then the, your power play pass as well. Those passes, how much do you kind of like work on those and, and you know, develop that? Um, I think the past couple of years, my playmaking abilities have uh, kind of increased a bit more, and um, I think it's good to have both, you know, being a shooter uh, and also being a passer. I think it keeps uh, players on their toes and, um, you know, can be a dangerous player if you can have both. Um, the, the power play one in particular, how quickly do you see that when the puck comes to you that you want to get it to the doorstep? Um, I think just when the D-man's flexing out and obviously gave me a lane, um, great pass by, by uh, Duchesne there. And then, um, yeah, Dadanov was, was open there, so I just tried to find him, and uh, he did a great job putting it home. Pete talked this morning that it's, uh, you, playing you and Maverick both with better players could bring more out of you guys. Do you feel that as well uh, at the NHL level, that playing with these skilled guys can bring a better version out of you? Yeah, of course. I think whenever you're playing with uh, you know great players, it, it makes you a better player as well. So. I'm really thankful that I was able to play with uh, some high-end players tonight. And, um, yeah, I'm just glad that we were able to get the win, too. Okay.